Hey guys, Zombie Girl here, and I have a figure to review for you guys today, and it's a Street Fighter Blanca figure. Um, I really love Street Fighter figures. I love the video game. I love the cartoons. I love the movies. The movies are really cool, and um, I'm obsessed with the video game because I love to play fighting game video games like. I don't know, like Soul Calibur, Mortal Kombat, type of games like that. I really love games like that. I would go crazy just getting all the games for those type of... I don't know, I've always been a fighting game type of fan, so there. <laughs> Let me just put it that way. And Blanca is like my favorite uh, Street Fighter character. Him and um, Cammy. I love Cammy. I, lo I love Cammy and Chung Lee. Those are my three favorite. And, um... This is like a different color Blanca, you know, where, where the game, you could choose different colors for the characters. So I like, I like this color on him. I like the green, the traditional green, but this is a good color for him too. I'm digging the blue hair. But I, I picked him up this week, this week Monday. I was in Santa Monica for a business meeting with me and my business partner. And I got it from a um, toy store there. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Third Street Promenade, but... That's where I, that's where pretty much, you know, was. And, um, the toy store is called the Puzzle Zoo. I don't know if you guys are fam familiar with the toy store, uh, Puzzle Zoo. They have really cool toys, but it's really pricey. And, um, I'm really happy that I got this figure in particular for a really good price. So let's get into the box, the packaging. The packaging is like on a card box type of packaging. And, um, the back has like, you know, other, um, Street Fighter characters you could probably pick up. You know, this is the green and orange Blanca figure. And there go there's Cami. Cami's really cool. And I only paid uh 9.95 for this figure. The um more moderate figures cost like 20 bucks, like uh 19.99. This is like more like a throwback figure. It's like not the I mean, you guys know what I'm talking about, the figure for the video games, those type of Street Fighter figures. This is like, I think, the cartoon version, and um, on the packaging it has like little um, game moves you could do with them, you know, up, down, you know, K or over, over, P, and stuff like that, you know, punching type of combos and stuff. And here is a illustrated, um, I'm sorry about the glare, illustrated picture of him. And on the bottom, it says, oh, you guys can see that, I'm sorry, I don't want to read everything I see in the packaging. And on the side, it says Blanca and stuff. But I don't know, it's a really cool card bag packaging. Um, you couldn't reuse these type of packaging, that's the only downfall about it. But, I don't know, overall it keeps the toy, you know, intact, I guess. I don't know. I don't, I don't know why um, toy collectors would want to put them back in the packaging. I mean, that's kind of weird. I never really do that, not usually. But if it's a really cool packaging, I'll keep it. But card, card back packaging like this, I usually just always throw away. But um, stay tuned. Let me open it up, and you, I'll do the review for you guys. Stay tuned. Don't go anywhere, please. Okay, I got him out of the packaging, which was fairly easy because I had a, a pair of scissors handy. Um, I'm really impressed with this figure so far just by seeing him out the packaging. I could see the, all the points of articulation on this figure. It's really freaking awesome. Like, he has so much articulated points on him. As you guys can even see, like, I don't even have to, like, show you guys. You guys can see the articulated points. That's what's mostly so impressive with Street Fighter characters. They're because they're fighting they're fighting characters, that's why they make their figures so well articulated. But um let me just the whole arm rotates three sixty, um, pivots here, here in the forearm, moves up and down the forearm too. The um hands moves pivots out in and out and um three sixty. The head is on a ball joint, that's cool. The legs are on the ball joint, and as well as the other arm. And the, um, the uh, waist area, you guys can see it pivots up and down. And the feet pivots up and down, f rotates fully 360. And the leg has uh, three articulated points in it. 
And uh, again, it's a lot of articulated points in this. I think this is the most. This is the one figure I have that has the, um, this amount of articulation on it. My other figures has nowhere nearly as much articulated points on it as this one does. That's why I love Street Fighter figures so much. I don't know why I waited so long to buy one. This is crazy. But um, the Blanca fit the Blanca the Blanca sorry the Blanca character in the video game. I really like his character because he reminds me of a crossbreed between um, Wolfman and the Hulk. <laughs> That's, that's what I love about him the most. He's like the the most, I don't know, outrageous character in the game and as well as the cartoon and movies. Really cool. He's like my favorite. Because <laughs> he looks like a monster. That's what I mostly like about him. Okay, let's get into... So again, like his uh, head mold is so good. I like the way that they sculpted everything with this figure. Sorry, I only have one hand free with, with this freaking toy. I, I so gotta get a tri uh, tripod thingy. Anyways, but um, his face features is really great. I'm sorry, my camera's a little fuzzy. You can't really see. But I'm, I'm really liking the way that they sculpted this figure. They really did like a really great job with every little thing. Like his hair is really detailed. His face is really detailed. Um, uh, his shorts is really nice. I like the color. It's like the right brown. It's not like a khaki or like a really dark, nasty looking brown. And um, again, his hair isn't really uh, blue. It's orange and his skin is like a green. But again, as I said before earlier in this video, that this is like another color you could pick for him if you're playing the video game. So that's kind of the theme that they're, you know, portraying with, with the figure. But I still like, uh, sorry, I still like um, this yellowish type of mustard look, uh, texture of color on him. And I like the blue hair, it works. These two colors, you know, it's opposite colors, but it works. And um, it's fully detailed. I like every little thing about this figure, right down to his feet. His toenails and stuff looks really crazy. Even his hands, it's, it's really crazy looking. And um, it comes with a lot of other little attachments. I think this figure, I'm sorry, I'm shooting ahead of myself. I think this figure is about maybe, um, I didn't really measure it, but it looks taller than six inches. And it looks taller than seven. So I'm thinking, I'm guessing around nine, maybe, I'm guessing. I'll compare it to something else in the later of the video. But um, let me show you the other things it comes with. It comes with another head. Like he's like uh, rowing or something or screaming, growling. <laughs> I said rowing. <laughs> growling. I like this face. I would try it out on him. I like his, I like this face better. Because I like his hair. It shoots up a certain way that I like. And then with this head, uh, his hair is kind of more flat. But I'll try it out. I kind of like the other face better, but I don't know. What do you guys think? This face or the other one? I don't know. I'll try it out, though. And then it comes with um, balds, like fists, balled up fists. I suppose it's like the hand opening thing. I don't know. It looks kind of odd to me. I think I would change his hands because it does look a little odd with that face. I think I would try those hands on this face and I would try these hands on this face better because I don't know it matches better like I could see this face having more of a fist and this face having more of a claw and it comes with a little skull sorry let me get a good grip, grip on it. it comes with a little skull which is so cute oh my god this is the cutest skull I think I've ever seen and it comes with like a pineapple and a watermelon and water. I can never pronounce this word right. Watermelon. <laughs> uh, sometimes my accent comes out. A watermelon. <laughs> cute. Which has been bitten. Which I think that's really cute too. And yeah, it's funny how this figure comes with so much little details, little other attachments to it. I'm digging it. I think this is the only figure I have that has this much stuff to it. And it also comes with like a little poster, I think, of other figures you could probably pick up of this wave. This is like a round two wave. 
Um, I'm thinking they got this way from the cartoon instead of the video game because it looks, even the logo looks completely different, so I'm guessing. That's what it's called, though, um, Street Fighter Round 2. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that wave, but this is what it's called. I'll open it later just to check it out. I didn't feel like open it for you guys, so sorry I got a little lazy. But, um, I recommend this figure to, um, video game people that loves video, that gamers, let me just say that, gamers, video game lovers. I love Blanca again. He's like, I think the best character in Street Fighter. Very cool. I like that he shocks you, like, when you don't want him to fight, you could just be lazy and let him shock the shit out of you. That's what I mostly do when I play with him. I just rather shock people than punch them or scratch them or bite them or something like that. But, um, if you guys are Street Fighter fans, I recommend you guys to pick this one up, Street Fighter Round 2, Blanca. And, um, I wasn't really, I didn't do a detailed review, sorry about that, because I'm trying to rush through it a little bit because I have another toy review to do after this one. So, um, if you guys need me to answer any questions about this figure or anything, just comment below and I'll, I'll be more detailed about this one. I'm sorry I, I wasn't really explaining it good enough. But, again, I'm a little bit on the time rush right now. This is my Street Fighter Blanca figure, and I only got him, again, for 19 uh, what did I say? 1949, I think. That's what I said. Yeah, 1949. If I'm wrong, sorry, I'll correct myself. And, uh, thank you guys for watching so much. And, um, rate if you like, subscribe if you like, comment if you like. And, um, thank you guys for watching again. I know I'm keep saying that, but I really appreciate you guys watching all my reviews. So, um, until next time, guys. Bye.